Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're jumping back in with the PMDG 737. Here we are, another beautiful day in Ottawa, and we're excited about the fact that we're getting our Cockpit Master CDU all set up using SPAD.next. So let's jump into the cockpit and have a look since we're already powered up on the GPU. We're not going to delve too deeply into the CDU, but the PMDG CDUs are pretty awesome and there's a lot of functionality that we can do. But isn't it so much better when we have it operating with an external system? So the Cockpit Master CDU, which is available from their website, is a fantastic product. However, it doesn't work with Microsoft Flight Sim. SPAD.next bridged that gap and has brought us control and being able to integrate this with multiple other products. And now with the launch of PMDG, it's also working as of today. So let's jump into SPAD.next and see how we get this working. If you got your Cockpit Master CDU plugged in, you want to make sure that you are not running their software when you launch SPAD.next. You're going to want to go into Settings. You're going to want to go into Application Settings. Sorry. Devices. Other Devices. And make sure that the Cockpit Master support is enabled. If it wasn't enabled, turn this on close SPAD.next and relaunch it so that it will open up and bring it into the system. Once you have it here, you're going to want to head over to your panels section and you'll now have the CDU available for you. Of course, you may not have anything set up and so again, another quick easy thing to do, click on any button you like, come on down to online snippets, you're going to want to uncheck current airplane, Boeing, complete device, and go ahead and use the default CDU as this will enable all the functionality. So you're going to click on that and when it asks you to replace all events you're going to say yes. Of course I cancelled, I already have it. Now one of the things to note is if you there is a custom event assigned for the long press of the menu key. And so if you hold down that menu key, it's going to take the CDU to page one. And now these buttons allow you to pick between which CDU you want to control, uh, the captain side or the first officer side, uh, and then it will change the page to what you're looking at. So let's go ahead and we'll jump back in with our CDU up. So as you can see, we're going to go ahead and we are going to select the left CDU and it's going to bring in all of our information. If we wanted to go into our flight sim actions, we have all the controls. And again, you can control the fuel, the payload, the doors. You can even do pushback from the actions that PMDG has. And of course, ground services head on over here so that you can make sure to bring in the GPU cart if you haven't done this already. Uh, and of course, remove it if you don't want. Lots of cool features. So again, hit menu, brings us back here. So of course, we're going to go into the FMC. We're going to go to init ref. We're going to say that we're at uh, CYOW. That's the airport that we're at. And we are currently on gate 40. So we're going to drop gate 40 in, and you can see that they match. Last known position, current position. We're going to grab that, and we are going to drop it in. As you can see, this is so awesome how responsive and fast it is. The ability to go ahead and set up our flight plan, making life so much easier using hardware to control our SIM control surface. Well, that's it. That's how easy it is to have all of the functionality. You got your progress page, you got your legs page. You've got your N1 limit. You've got your fixes. Everything is already here in the setup to begin with. As always, guys, if you haven't, please go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget, hit the subscribe if you haven't joined already. Come along next time. We're going to get into the MCP and programming it 
on the 737-700. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.